speed of sound. What is that? Now we're watching these live views. Uh, What's HD all the stuff lying off? Of thanks to Starlink. Uh, you can see the that fins are going. The fins are moving. On the ship might be actuating. Um, <laughs> Everyone's laughing. What's that? Apparently, some incredible. Uh, then, then, they're, they're not tiles. It looks something like Starship. Now, uh, we've it's like garbage falling starship out. They're doing a garbage display, dump. Uh, and land at subsonic speeds. <laughs> oh, look at that! That so looks incredible. Wow. This is amazing. They're, they're nailing this. Back from space is on the end of a flap. Starship has front flaps and, and rear flaps. Right, so that's why it's moving. Um, that's so why the camera appears those, to move, because it's on the flap. Oh man, <laughs> we can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting oh! to enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is where the Earth's atmosphere Wow, is you can see, yeah, you can see the heating. Oh! Wow. Wow. No way, that's incredible. That's the most amazing thing I've seen. Right now, it is not. The Starlinks are still... So the camera moves because it's on the, the flat, on the top side. the data and the video that we see here. I mean, Shiva, this is just absolutely incredible views. We've never seen anything wow. like this before. This is the so the heat's now on the bottom side, so you can see it absolutely <laughs> going over. It's on the other side. It's important mm -hmm. to note with the ascent burn that we did was to be have two <laughs> orbital velocities, even though we were on a nearly orbital Whoa. trajectory. So or is that the engine? The loads that no, Starship or is that just going through right now Whoa. Or what it would be getting if it were recovering from it's supposed to be doing that. And, and just the fact that we have are those engines lit? Yeah. Again, this is the furthest and fastest that Starship has ever. They expected to lose signal here. Or they, or there was potential for it. This is nuts. Wow. Like I said before, this is the fastest and furthest that Starship has ever flown. Wow. So first time that we're getting to collect this reentry Look at that plasma. That's in, That's insane. hexagonal heat shield tiles. Are working together 18, to heat the tiles. belly of Starship as it re-enters the None of them are coming atmosphere. off. Uh, once again, I don't know what I wouldn't know what all that rubbish was before. Does anyone know? But all 33 Raptor engines fired, all six vacuum engines fired. and relit the heat of the Earth's atmosphere. Um and so that's the purpose that they are serving during all of that energy I agree it's great progress heat, no, nonetheless yeah tiles to just help dissipate yep. that heat they're not ablated I think uh, they've done enough already dragon, to deem this to be pretty successful test um, so they are these tiles even if not 100% so success although if it failed right now and it just um, all of know, that is just really they got no other data out. and it just uh, where went starship is kaput. really unique is and then that would be a bummer but seriously like the hard part really is getting to, that to orbit with those really 33 engines and then lighting them in orbit uh, lighting the um the vacuum engines and you know uh, again, shutting them off and relighting the them and stuff that's all the hard it stuff the wings it had a similar heat shield system but it had oh that landing's hard uh, of course <laughs> yeah but it's like <laughs> i'm saying it's still useful to those like you can speeds. starship can uh, still be starship, useful and profitable that, probably straight down uh, we'll if because trust me if you've got 200 and if you can get like 220 230 tons to orbit or even to the you know or even further out then you'll find customers there. for that. Uh, so you don't need a runway. <laughs> Uncle Sam runway. will suddenly go, oh yeah, I wouldn't mind putting a couple of so hundred kilo satellite up there. Uh, 